How to instantly make your iPhone footage look three times better without tricky editing or color grading. With the introduction of the iPhone 15 Pro, we got Apple Log Video Recording. That looks so much better and more natural than the stock camera app. Just look at this gross over-sharpening and artificial image of the stock camera. My face literally looks like a pancake. Plus, regular camera app has tone mapping, which constantly changes your exposure even if you did lock the autofocus and auto exposure by tapping and holding on the screen. And for even more or less professional recording, a constant exposure is a must-have. And even the noise reduction in the stock camera app is more aggressive, leaving blocky artifacts in the shadows. So if you are an owner of the iPhone 15 Pro Pro Max, 16 Pro Pro Max or the 17 Pro and Pro Max, now you can enhance the video quality and get mirrorless camera-like footage by just using a free app and changing a couple of settings. First of all, download the best free filmmaking app, Blackmagic Camera, and even Apple themselves are using this app to record their presentations in Apple Log. In the app, go to Settings, Record tab, then to Color Space and choose Apple Log HDR or Apple Log 2 if you have the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max. Then in the Codec tab, choose the HEVC or H.265. This way you'll have more than 10 times the amount of recording space left compared to ProRes. While still retaining great image quality, I always use H.265 codec and as you can tell, the image quality is still awesome. The high bitrate and 4K quality will be the sweet spot. And yes guys, you don't have to use ProRes codec when you record in Apple Log. Apple Log is a color space and ProRes is a codec, they're two different things. You can still record in Apple Log using HEVC or H.265, reducing the file sizes by 10 times compared to ProRes. Especially ProRes HQ, it occupies so much space, just stick to the H.265 and you'll be more than happy with the results, especially considering that after uploading to YouTube or Instagram, still the footage will be more compressed by the program or the website itself and you'll have very similar results. After this, in the app, enable vertical video to be able to shoot vertically as well. By default, this setting is turned off for some reason, but still enable it, please. Then go down to the LUT settings tab. LUTs are basically color grading presets because ungraded Apple Log footage looks flat and desaturated and we have to bring back the colors and the contrast with a LUT. Hit Enable Blackmagic LUTs and here you'll have a bunch of different ones that are pre-installed in the app. But the best one in my opinion is the Vivid LUT, so only leave this one enabled. Then go back and press Record LUT to clip. This way you'll have the colors and contrast of this LUT baked into the footage. It'll be straight away colorful and saturated after you stop recording. So you don't have to color grade it in post anymore. And also you'll see a red LUT icon in the top left corner of the app. That's basically it. Now you only have to choose the frame rate that you want to film in and there you go. You can tap on the screen to adjust exposure and white balance in automatic settings and you'll be more than fine in 90% of casual scenarios. For example, my wife actually uses it all the time and she's far from being a videographer, but all of her Instagram subscribers always ask how she gets such good colors. Of course, you can tweak and lock the shutter speed as well as the white balance for more precise manual controls and to stick into the correct shutter speed of 1 over 50 of a second if you shoot at 25 frames per second, for example, and then adjust the exposure with our Freewell V and D filter, which is 1 to 5 stops combined with the CPL and it's also magnetically attachable and it has an ace up its sleeve. We have removable insertable filters with an extra ND strength or the mist filter or the gradient filter. So nice. Also keep in mind that if you set the stabilization in the app to cinematic or extreme, the LUT will not be visible while recording. But the colors and contrast, the LUT itself, will be baked into the footage as soon as you stop the recording, so you'll have the colorful and saturated file after you finish the recording. And that's it. Now you have a video shot in Apple Log, but already color graded, contrasty and saturated that looks so much better than the stock camera app and it's super easy to use as well. If you want to further color grade the footage, you're always welcome. Adding a little bit of contrast and saturation straight in the Photos app will make the image pop even more, while still retaining all of the benefits of Apple Log, like the lack of artificial post-processing. This way is as simple as using the stock camera app, but with way, way better results. So if you own the iPhone 15 Pro Pro Max, 16 Pro Pro Max or the 17 Pro Pro Max, or in the future the 18 Pro Pro Max, who knows, you gotta try it out, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Thank you so much for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.